We joined when my children were very young. They were two, four, and six. We joined primarily for them because I wanted them to be raised in a church and go to Sunday school. We looked around when we moved here. We wanted to find a church home where we felt the Spirit of God, a place where we could serve, and we just felt the Spirit of God here. I was just so overwhelmed by the welcome that we received. People have been so inviting and so kind. That inclusion alone, like, and knowing that I can come here and be myself is like the most welcoming thing. For me, it started with the people, and it started with the community, and then the faith came later, and I started hearing God in ways I never anticipated. And I see Him working through the faces of my kids as they're happy to be here. I love it. Like, there's always something going on here. I think because we have raised our children here and we've seen a generation come through, so we had such a wonderful experience that we want the church to move forward and continue to grow and do things for the congregation as a community to be able to experience the things we did as a family. For me, Lord of Life has been a special place in that I'm welcome for who I am and celebrated for the gifts that God has given me and able to lead the congregation. So this Growing Faithfully campaign is so exciting to me because I know that it will improve our building in ways that will provide that space of welcome for folks. We have a unique perspective, a perspective that says in this place, whoever you are, whatever your background is, wherever you're coming from, you are welcome here. And you're not just welcomed by the people here, but you are welcomed and loved by God in this place. This is an opportunity for us to get out of our box, for us to start to think of others, and for us to show God's love in a different way. We want to try new things because we know this message that we have matters. If people really understand how much they are loved, then they can't help but go out and show the love to everybody else. In Lord of Life, we do amazing things. And each year I'm like, oh, oh wow, this is, it gets better. It just gets better. For years, experts told us how to measure a successful church. The formula was simple, attendance, building, and cash. How many people do you see in your pews? How big is your building? How much money do you have in the coffers? A, B, C, that's all it took. And because they told us to, we judged ourselves by these same measures. But what if there was another way? What if instead of measuring success in numbers and dollars, we could look for something deeper that gets to the heart of the matter? In the first years of the church, when apostles and newly baptized alike were trying to figure out how to be church together, they weren't measuring their success by the ABCs. They measured it by how people's lives were changed by an encounter with Jesus. The first believers made it clear, success as a church meant following Jesus, looking to others, boldly proclaiming your faith. You might call this the X, Y, Zs. X is for Christos, the Greek spelling of Christ, which starts with Chi, or what we write as X. We start with Christ because Jesus is the goal. Y is for you, not just you, single person, your relationship with God, but y'all. You is anyone outside of yourself. The person next to you, your neighbor, the car that cut you off in traffic, the person who showed you kindness on a bad day. You calls us to turn our attention to others. Finally, Z is for zeal. As Lutherans, we've been called a lot of things, but zealous is probably not one of them. Our zeal doesn't lead us to stand on street corners and shout at passerbys. Our zeal comes from our experiences of God's grace in our lives. It's the part of us that has a meaningful experience and can't wait to share it with others. It's the voice that says, you are loved, and then sends us out to love our neighbor. This is the XYZs. This is what the Growing Faithfully campaign is all about. How do we ensure that our space is inviting, comfortable, and free of roof leaks so that others can encounter Christ in this place? How do we design spaces that welcome all people, providing access to every part of our building? And thinking of all the yous that enter our sphere. How do we capture our shared zeal, our experience of grace, and then boldly proclaim that message to the world? That is growing faithfully. It's all of us, together. Encountering Christ. Turning to others. And sharing the love of God. When we are growing faithfully, we learn. We serve, we give.